Yeah, you know, guys, how are y'all doing? This is MJ2 Reviews, being the best of model kit reviews. Lovely sunny day, so I thought, why not? Don't want to be cooked up in my flat, so I came out to Yarm. And right near the Cleveland Bay pub, if anybody's interested, up on the hill is this fantastic World War II pillbox. And what a beauty she is. I reckon it's from the 1940s, it's not from the 30s, because if it was, it would be a lot more damaged. This is possibly the nicest one I've seen so far. And you can just see just by the styling of it. It's very cool. So let's go up here. It's very overgrown. And it's got a lot of ivy around it. So let me give you a little look over here. So this is round the back. On the side area. Still very overgrown. And this is it from the top. And I believe these holes here were ventilation holes. And uh, let's go and see what this is all about. So, I've got me big boy with me. I always call it the big boy. <laughs> light projection light. So, let's get this on the go. So, let's have a little look. So, this is on the inside. So here we are, and uh, you can just see guys, this is graffitied quite a lot, and uh, but it's actually cleaner than what it was before when we came in, and there's another ventilation hole just up there, and I think there's one up this side as well. There we go. Oh, there's spiders up there and whatnot. But there's no gun mounts on here, and you can actually see where they've been taken off. So, but if you just have a look where the gun mount is head just here, you get a good view, guys. Really good view. And the same for here. Still get a good view. And then the back way here, it's overgrown <laughs> with uh, ivy. So, let's have another look around here. You alright, Al? <laughs> That's me, Uncle. So, let's go through here. And it looks like we've had people staying in over here. They must. They must uh, come in here like youths and stuff like that. Popular little spot. So, we've got some uh, creepy crawlies hanging about, mosquitoes and that. Another ventilation shaft. Then we've got some other spy holes here, where you can see out of. It's uh, pretty cool actually. I do like this uh, pillbox, it's probably the cleanest. And the nicest one I've been in, apart from the graffiti. But uh, then again, you can't really stop uh, the graffiti. Um, I like that there, that's cool. That's pretty cool. And that's what it's like on the inside. So it's pretty nice, guys. I think the doorways are so tiny. It's like, how the hell to squeeze through these, especially if you were a biggish person. <laughs> uh, I won't deny that I'm quite fat, but you know, it's all about losing weight, but you know, we all can't be perfect. But uh, still managed to get through it. Such a tiny gap though. Yeah. I don't like it when the graffiti, all this, it just ruins it, I mean, you know, for the people that served for our, our country and then they go and wreck it like this, it's just crazy. It spoils it. Definitely spoils it. But anyway guys, like I said, if you're all interested on in coming to this uh, pillbox, it's just near the Cleveland Bay, um, near Yarm. And uh, the Cleveland Bay in Yarm is just here somewhere along the motorway coming down 
and then you've got Yarm High Street there and as you just come down here up the hill you can't miss this pillbox and it's a very nice one to come to so I hope I hope you all like the video guys of this wonderful pillbox there will be more coming me and me and Alan here we're gonna go to the uh, um, seat and crew pillboxes soon and I believe there's some in South Gare as well it's just getting the money to uh, get there really guys but uh, I hope I'll enjoy the video have a great evening and uh, this is MJT Review signing out thanks very much guys see ya